For many years, Dr. Urielli has been working on um, websites that, uh, that supplement textbooks. Recently, he has decided to go one step farther and have websites that replace textbooks. So he has developed over the years many very interesting examples that can be hyperlinked from his website. And uh, if he's talking about a particular problem, he can link to a website that, that has a real life example of that problem. What I find, as we've been going through the, the web, I find that uh, there is because of the ability to interact with other websites and, and, and which are relevant, uh, I find that we can, we can bring a whole lot of enthusiastic um, additions to what I'm talking about just by going to various relevant web links. I think that all courses could be taught in this way and uh, we're, we're kind of just leading it and it's turning out to be extremely successful. What, what makes him unique uh, in one way is just his passion. He has a, a wonderful passion for teaching, a passion for students, and, and a passion for, um, for internet-based resources. He has been a, a, at the forefront, even though he in some ways resists some things like PowerPoint. He, he doesn't like PowerPoint, but he loves websites uh, and he loves what he can do with them. Um, so I think it's really his just his love of thermodynamics and his his excellent teaching that allows him to pull together resources that are already available, but pull them together in a way that can be presented well to the students as, as very pedagogically appropriate and in a, in a good way that helps the students learn. One is that I, I do introduce humor. That's, that's something that's that's taboo in a textbook for engineering, but we go through the process of. Um, how does one cook a turkey with potential energy? Uh, things of that nature, because it is, you know, it's a Creative Commons license, which means that it's freely available to, to the entire world uh, that, that we have. I, d I don't like copywriting materials and so on. Um, and so it's easily accessible if you Google thermodynamics space graphical, it comes up as number one hit out of about three million um, so it's, it's obviously widely looked at and I get responses from all over the world. Uh, you know, I, I have this feeling that I don't need to make money on a textbook. I'm being paid as a professor. Uh, information should be freely available and, and this is what I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to develop this, this approach.